Last time on Catherine Full Body. The rumor. Mr. Todd has died. I'm sure if you put everything they've said together day by day, there's some weird coherent storyline. But I don't remember like half the things they've said, so. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Catherine Full Body. Last episode, I got extremely frustrated at puzzles to the point where I wanted to throw my controller across the room and break my PS4. Okay, no. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I was very frustrated. And if you're like, Xeno, why would you be so frustrated? Uh, I actually already explained it all last episode, so if you watched the last episode, then you would know. But anyways, sadly, I can't switch it off of remix mode just yet. I actually have to beat the boss of this floor. So, um... Yeah. There's that. <laughs> hey. Am I gonna be able to beat the boss? Hello. Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to one way or the other. Because we can't leave this area without doing so. And I can't turn down the difficulty. Regardless, though, there was that one man last episode whose name was... What was his name? I think his name was Todd. He was a dude with a pompadour. Anyways, I realized why exactly he died. Um, so, there was a line of dialogue he gave us. I think it was one of the times when he was a sheep down here. And he... He was talking about his backstory, but I wish I could remember it more clearly. But the dialogue ended with... Him talking about his dad, and the last thing you get to answer with is like, he says, I'm a screw up, it's all my fault. And the last things you can answer with are, no, it's it's all your dad's fault, or it's in the past, leave it, like, leave it behind. I chose it's in the past, leave it behind, because I don't feel like it's a very good therapeutic thing to place blames on others, although, even though it's true, like... How do I say it? It feels weird to deflect your anger towards someone rather than to just leave it in the past, you know? If I told him that other thing, it would have just been, Oh, I, I understand. I hate my dad. I hate him. And he's just going to spend the rest of his life maybe hating his dad. But hey, apparently he would have lived. So there's that. I, I feel like the answer I chose made more sense because it's like, hey, it's part of your past now. It happens. Now you gotta move on. That's all there is to it. But apparently that wasn't the answer, and Vincent's small words were not enough to keep him from giving up in the nightmare, so he's dead now. Regardless, it's time to go and move on. It's what? what? <laughs> I think you're starting to get careless. Do you remember what I said about the tide shifting? And what the hell does that have to do with anything? Well, it's almost time. This is the tenth question for a new possibility. What factors in the most when you make an important decision? <laughs> what factors in most when I make an important decision? God damn it. <laughs> I thought I just charged this thing. I swear I did. I think I actually just left my PS4 on for an extremely long amount of time. So that's probably the reason. What factors in the most when you make an important decision? Other people's opinions or my heart? I'm kind of surprised this one isn't logic. You know? Like, the logical answer or the emotional answer, but... To answer this, I guess it depends on the people I'm taking the opinion from. Like, if all of my friends tell me this is a good idea, then I will probably take it. Like, for example, I know someone, uh, someone very specific, who went to college and they're like, I'm going to take full classes. I'm going to take all the classes they allow me to take. And literally all 15 of their friends went like, dude, that's crazy. Just don't. It's your first semester of college. That's crazy. You're going to hate yourself. And... Then, despite the fact they asked the question if they should or not, they basically just went, No, F you, I will, you can't stop me. <laughs> and I, I don't know how that story turned out. But regardless, I feel like it's important to listen to your friends, especially if it's like... If it's a huge majority of people, like your friends, your family, most people are telling you to do something else. I think it's a thing you should follow, but sometimes you also gotta trust in yourself, because... Only you can make yourself happy at the end of the day, really. No one else can. So... It's really a hard decision that... 
I would say answers with it depends, but I'm going to say my heart because, like, I feel like all of my life I've just made decisions that make me happy, and sometimes that causes other people to worry for you because you make dangerous decisions like spending your time making thousands of YouTube videos and when you could be, you know, getting like a... I, I don't know. Getting a useful hobby or talent. That one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Let me give you a little warning. Depending on what you choose, your life might change rather drastically. And at the core of it all, is that pianist. Rin, what are you talking about? Your true value is about to be tested. Of course, your options will be limited. The choices you've made will determine what paths remain. I wonder what kind of trial they'll lead you to. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Walking into an uncertain future like that. Your next challenge is that fear itself. Fear itself. I don't know what that entails exactly, but we'll get through it. What? Oh, I guess we... I guess we disconnected from the server or something? Oh, we're in offline mode. Yeah, that's what I expected. I'm guessing offline mode has like a predetermined survey they took, maybe the among like the developers, fortune. and then they just put in the statistics there. I feel like that's what that probably is. Observe the traps created by the enemy and stay calm. All right. Let's just climb this thing and get it over with. What? Is that is baby no a robot? Way. Oh, it is a chainsaw. The baby's back, and it's a robot with a chainsaw. That is horrifying. Time to go. Um... Honestly, I feel like a lot of the boss stages are way easier than, like, the main stages. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Um, okay. This has honestly been really easy so far. Like, these are hardly puzzles. Especially compared to the last two levels. Like, I don't know. The difficulty spikes in this game have been kind of crazy. What is it doing? Okay. It's just cutting. The baby is cutting. Who taught the baby to cut? I need to speak with his parent. What are the- Excuse me? What the hell was that? Got it. I'm like speed running this. Not really speed running, but I'm doing my best. Actually, I think I just ran into an issue. That's a beautiful sentiment, lady. Sorry, Rin, I 
didn't mean to sound mean, but it's a little, uh... Situation's kind of tight right now. I think I might have messed this up so bad that I don't think I can actually go back from it. Okay, this might be where we have to cheat. I mean, that still doesn't solve the problem once we get up. Or, yes, it does, actually. Um... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a huge mistake. Or was it? Oh, God damn it. Yes, it was. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. The baby's gonna get me. Or maybe it won't. Oh my god. Camera, please. You're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. We did it! Okay, we barely got up. Except for the part where we didn't, and I lied. Wait, what? What did I do there to make that fall? All I did was get up here. Jumpy pad! That worked out. Those things are horrifying. Oh no, they go around, don't they? I'm not a big fan of that. There we go. What? Uh, actually, I don't... I'm not confident I know how to solve this now. Yeah, there's a lot of things I'd like to undo right now. Including the fact that I just effed up this puzzle so bad, I don't think I can solve it anymore. Or maybe I can. No, I don't think I can. Yes, I can. I did it. I want to get this last one, though. Okay, the baby actually can stop me. I was about to say the baby. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll ignore the last one. We'll just win. Right, we're on this last bit. I have to think about this kind of carefully now. Because I can't drop it, which means I just have to get higher somehow. not what I wanted. Oh, good. Wait, hold on. 
What am I saying? Ha! Whatever, I'm done. F you, baby. I'm out. Okay. If I just open this. It had chainsaws in its eyes. I didn't really notice that part until just now, but... It had chainsaw eyes. That is horrifying. I would have totally gotten the bron or I'm above a bronze prize if I didn't mess up there right at the end. You your memories. You've seen enough by now. To conclude, let's pick up where we left off on your budding romance. Five years ago. <laughs> Yikes! I drink way too much. I'm really sorry, you know. About last night. We're both adults here. There's no need to apologize. What are you in the mood for today? I could make breakfast for us. Hey, Catherine. Hmm? Question. Do you want to be my girlfriend? How's that sound? Huh? <laughs> About time. Well, do you remember what you held so dear? To be honest? I planned to enjoy watching a pitiful lamb drown in his regrets. But this took a turn for the unexpected. You truly are interesting. What lies ahead is a direct result of the path you've taken thus far. Will you let this experience fade into the past? That's up to you. Makes kind of sad to think about. If I recall, or not if I recall, but if I recall what you guys told me, a lot of these cutscenes about, like, the past with Catherine were- <laughs> Um... How did... Doesn't Vincent live on, like, the second floor? They're still coming in. What are they doing here anyway? They didn't solve anything. I, I mean, they... The, the ants, what, what are they doing here? Stupid ants. They're after this. What is it? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? How did ants get here so damn quick? It's the cake Catherine brought me a while ago. Oh, I've got a, a real sweet tooth is all. <laughs> uh, wait, really? So do I. So, uh, when did you get here? Oh, what, like you forgot? You said that you were feeling better, so I hurried right over. Huh? When did I tell you that? I guess my memory's a little fuzzy. Aw, you always say that. <laughs> Relax, you worry too much. Trust me, you are just fine, baby. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. I would find it kind of... Uh, oh, yeah. Suspicious if, like... I uh, <laughs> don't have time today. <laughs> no! What, what is it this time? It's... It's that horror movie I told you about. This is the last week they're going to be showing it in theaters, <laughs> remember? What? What movie? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss it. Yeah, okay, okay. Can we wait till tomorrow? I've kind of got some stuff to take care of today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right! <laughs> hey, this will be our first real date! It'll be so much fun, don't you think? <laughs> I am totally lost here. Ugh. Ugh. Yes! 
I, I honestly don't know what kind of ending I'm gonna get. Like, I feel like if... I, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Wait, Listen what's going me. on? I, uh, I heard something the other day. What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well, do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anyone named Steve. Exact. Wait, what? Y you don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, how could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name, right? Wait! I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. Son? How old is he? Um, two months, maybe? She'd just come back from the hospital. No, no, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well, I'm sure I do, if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Vincent, you're not being very transparent about this. Look. Just say some dude called you, claiming to be your boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> well... Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? Vincent, just answer the question. Well, if you don't know, then let's just drop it. No, Vincent! <laughs> you sure you don't know him? Who is Steve? Why do you keep asking me that? I told you, I don't know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> I love how Vincent's like, I'm gonna be up front what with you. On? And then proceeds the to just instantly again. not say anything about the situation at all. I'm, I'm glad to hear Catherine's not cheating, cheating, but this is not good. Maybe I should just tell her. No. Then she'll think I'm taking some random guy's word over hers. Shit. What can I say to make her believe me? Uh, well, it, it, it's a good thing you don't know him. There's this asshole at my work who said he might know you. So, uh... Huh? Are you okay? You've been acting weird lately. You're pale. You say things that don't make any sense. Yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately. Like the future and everything. I don't get it. Uh, what do you mean? You don't get it. Uh, well... What part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about work. It's a new job and all, and... I'm having problems with a client, so I'm tired. <laughs> <sighs> I've been... Getting strange texts lately. Well, strange how? I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay, but. Look, Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? <laughs> Reassure her somehow. Come on, I'm not keeping anything from you. 
Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh. Oh. I feel like because the morality system or the bar system or whatever you want to call it, I feel like the blue bar is obviously Catherine with a K and the red bar is obviously Catherine with a C. Um, and if you do not answer truthfully and just want to veer towards one or the other, it's very easy to get, it seems. But since I am answering due to my own opinion on some of these questions, which most of these questions are not even like they're, they're just way too binary of questions, you know, uh, I think if they do make a Catherine two or something like that, that would be interesting and maybe have like five or six answers. Don't just like or three or four answers. Don't just like be like, hey, 100 percent. Yes. Or 100 percent. No, you know, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I also find it very weird. Catherine's also acting odd, you know. She is also accusing Vincent of acting odd, but she's also hiding things herself. Like, there's text she won't show us. Nah, I don't know. For some reason, I almost want to say that she's like... Something's wrong and it's not the pregnancy. I don't know if the pregnancy is even real or not. But... It's like she's trying to get Vincent's attention with some things happening, but she doesn't want to describe it, you know? It's it's kind of weird like that. Anyways, continue. Okay. I'll call you. She rushed out of here. She didn't even drink her drink. Which girl? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I asked around. And nobody knows who you are. You... you told her? Well, yeah, of course I did. I mean, that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah. B but what do you mean, nobody knows me? Well, that's exactly why I called. Look, wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like? Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just leave me alone. What's going on? Catherine. How should I know? But she she's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. That's interesting. So there's there's a bunch of people going around named Catherine that are purposefully targeting people who have partners. And this guy is just straight up divorcing his wife to be with this girl. Like so that must mean that Catherine as a person, and also the Catherine he's talking about has a completely different skin color. So that means I have a feeling these Catherines can somehow like shape shift. I want to say to be their ideal partner, because like if you want someone to cheat on someone else, especially since it seems like so many of these dudes would never actually do that, you would have to be like their absolute ideal human being. In every way, shape, and form. And the only way to do that would be, like, shapeshift. So, either there's one Catherine going around and she can do, like, some weird shapeshifty stuff. Or there's a whole organization slash magical thing of Catherine's, wa like, walking around, you know? I don't know quite yet, but I kind of get the idea of what's going on now. She came into my life suddenly, and then I just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going crazy. It's gonna come for me. And I... Look, I'm the one going crazy here. I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, wait, no, don't hang up. I still have. What the hell was that? Dude's going problem? nuts. His life is torn to shreds. <sighs> Long day. Huh? What the? That smoke? <laughs> oh, what is Rin doing now? 
What happened? She stayed in the bath too long. Wait, they showed her ch Oh no, she's a boy. She's a dude. Hey there, Vincent. Good morning. R uh, Rin, are, are you, uh, okay? Otherwise, they wouldn't have shown her chest but, but like you, that. You, uh, Either that, or they're just okay with nudity. Are you a guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't well, know either. Sure wasn't working, wait, 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 wait. So wait. This can't be right. Like Is Ren, Ren seriously a guy? I mean, I, I had no I fucking clue when, when I was falling. I mean, no, 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 I wasn't no, falling in love or anything. I mean, what kind of a guy looks like that? What was I supposed to think? I mean... <gasps> and then my memories came back. Oh, her memories came, or his you memories. I don't know what right? she wants don't to be referred to. I'm sorry. Then wait, please. Still, poor Rin. It's not their fault. Shit. I fucked up. I really don't know anything, do I? <sighs> Sitting here is not gonna fix anything. I gotta go apologize. Uh, Catherine! Vincent! What are you doing in there? Oh, there was just a problem with the plumbing. What are you doing here? Oh, well, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Do you have time? Well, uh, does it have to be right this second? Um, well, yeah. Huh? Are you serious? Are you gonna get it? Oh. Waste any more time. I might not be able to find Rin. This thing with Catherine seems pretty important. Either way, it sure as hell not a good time to pick this up. Sorry, Catherine. There's something I need to do. Whoa! I'll hear you out later. I promise. All right. Oh. If it's that important, I, I understand. Sorry for bringing this up out of nowhere. Just don't worry about what I said. You should hurry. Yeah, thanks, Catherine. Oh. I knew it. Maybe I should have been more honest with him. More honest with him? So, I'm judging by that cutscene, I actually think we got the Rin route. Like, maybe... Huh, I'm actually kind of surprised, because Vincent just blew off Catherine to go talk to Rin, which is like... I didn't expect that, you know? Hey, is Rin here? Did something happen, Vincent? Well, I kind of saw Ren naked and... Wait, you guys saw the doctor. You... Have you known this whole time? Oh, come on, this isn't some horrible... <gasps> Don't tell me you lashed out over this. Seriously? Call and apologize right now! Yeah, okay. Uh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Ren! Listen, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean it. I was just surprised. Vincent, um, I'm sorry too. I ran away so suddenly. No, no, don't apologize. This is all my fault. Where are you? Are you safe? Yes, I'm fine. It's getting late. Why don't you come back to the apartment? No, I can't go back. <sighs> I love you, Vincent. I've known since the day we met. But I 
guess hearing that from someone like me is not exactly what you want. I'm sorry. I just thought maybe you'd be okay with it. I knew you had a girlfriend, so... I wasn't planning on telling you this. But when I saw how kind you were, how you didn't judge people by appearances, I started dreaming about the future. Ren. Falling for someone for the first time, I felt my world growing bigger and brighter. It was only a few days, but I had so much fun. Being able to play the piano and help you are memories I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Without me, Vincent. So please, promise me you'll find your own happiness. Rin! Oh, poor Rin. Damn, I feel like. It's just one of those accidents that happen, you know? Damn. So, the girl's a guy, huh? You just can't judge a book by its cover these days. Come on. You're acting like you've never seen anything like this before. No skin off my back. I only have eyes for Erica. So, what happened, anyway? Oh. Shit. After something like that, I'd run away too. Right? What an asshole. Excuse me, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> Life's falling apart. Hearing a love confession is pretty damn powerful. Now, may I please have another drink? Jeez. Oh, Wait, Rin confessed? Hey, Toby, come here a sec. Huh? Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, I get that it must have been a pretty big wake-up call. But just take that loss and move on. It's not a loss, all right? Are you saying you're interested? Whoa there, are you serious? Look, no matter how cute, the kid's packing heat, I know man. that. It's just... Rin accepted me the way I am, you know? Well, what exactly do you want here? Hey, you paying attention? Pause. Uh, we will be right back. I'm having some weird audio issues here, and I don't know what's going on. I guess it kind of makes sense because like even though we've only known Rin for maybe six days in the dream we see her multiple times like we meet her multiple times a night and we live next to her so even though it's a short span of time it's a lot of time still spent with another person you know it's hard to explain it's like Rin helps me see things in a way I never even thought about before whole new perspective, I guess. Not to mention, Rin saved our lives. Saved our lives? When? What are you talking about? We're the ones that did the saving. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. 
I get it. It's a change of pace for you. No one would fault you for that. But it's starting to sound like you're actually in love. Are you? No. I mean, yeah, we're close. It's not like Ren's the one. <laughs> that seat's taken. <sighs> Thank you. The man. <sighs> Sorry, dude, but you brought this on yourself. That's for sure. By the way, what happened with the whole Catherine cheating? Pause. Sorry, I had a recording issue and my screen blacked out. I actually had to go back and check what Vincent said, and I'm sad to hear that he actually said no. Because it's like... Man, I thought I pushed for Rin pretty hard here. And the fact that they are indeed male does not change that. But like, I, I feel like this is another case of I probably said a single binary answer and in the dream or something. And it just went, nope, the route's locked off. You said the wrong thing once. F you. <laughs> Which is really saddening because like. Whenever Rin asked me a question, I feel like I answered properly in a way that made her happy. Or whenever some of these questions that came up that asked about things pertaining to this, for the most part, I said, yeah, it's fine. Like, you can accept things. But some of the questions, I guess, are just a little... I don't know. They're a little strongly worded, you know. But anyways, regardless, even though we didn't get the Rin route, which it really looks like, and it makes me really sad that we didn't, I'm of course going to complete the game, because this is what we do. Thing. <sighs> that turned out to be the wrong girl. <laughs> the wrong girl? Yeah, the Catherine he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez. Seriously? Well, lucky for you, this was just some dumbass's mistake. World's full of troublemakers. But it, it, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. No, I mean, there's no way. He has to be mistaken. Oh, uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Ah, uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters. So they were cursed. Uh, just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore, so there's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? Oh, well, that's great. I've got no choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished, you know what I mean? But this curse stuff is just crazy. It's not rational. Hmm. Grow up, man. Besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus... Plus, well, you know, I've sort of been having funny dreams, too. Yeah, we saw you there. <laughs> dreams? Well, to be honest, I've been having odd dreams recently myself. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly what they're about, but... Yeah, it's some hard shit. Hey, are you serious? It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all just dreams. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. Wait a sec. Come to think of it, he, he said something. I, I'm going crazy. It's going to come for me. And I... What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Anyway, this is about you, Vincent. What are you going to do? Huh? Oh, my nightmares were all caused by this trouble. But they forced me to realize something. Which is? I took everything for granted, up until now. I feel like now, I remember what I've always held dearest to me. 
No, Vincent. Sounds selfish to me. <laughs> really? I know. But I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time. Oh. Uh, despite who I am. We definitely didn't get the Rin route. I can oh. feel it. And that's really disappointing. Like, it's like, oh, what's even the point in continuing now? I, at the very least, I hope they don't just drop them from the story. Because that'd be, that would be a little frustrating. Because I feel like there's a lot going on with Rin. And if they just disappear from here on out, it's like, well, that's kind of annoying. I can't lose her now. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chief. Then maybe you shouldn't be here drinking right now. Well, yeah. Mm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, beer me. Sure, let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah, right. It's gonna be sad. No more Rin at the piano. Just gonna have to do this normally. I heard the video is such a nice song. I envy how carefree she is. I bet everyone's outlook on life would change for the better. They were friends with someone like her. I wonder if I'd be able to ever turn over a new leaf. It's never too late to start. Just kidding. I don't know what that means. I don't think I've ever actually felt like this playing a video game before. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how dejecting it feels that the game's like pushing me down this path. It's like, I don't even like Catherine with a K. <laughs> but it is what it is. I guess there's nothing more to worry about. Yeah. You've still got a mess to deal with. What you gonna do about that girl you're cheating with? She's still in the dark, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... I propose to... I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. What was that nightmare about? Oh, you got More text. Vincent, have you gotten involved with something bad? If that's the case, tell me. Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Mm. Yep. Don't worry about it. Everything's been settled. Sorry, I'll explain when it's all over. Good night, Catherine. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. Every time Erica comes up, they, like, really avoid the question. Makes you wonder if Erica is, like, also trans, you know? I don't know. Because the way she walked over and she was like, Hey! You know, it's not such a weird thing, and every time he talks about Erica, they get all avoidy about it, so that might be it. Or it might just be that Erica has some kind of secret that we don't know about other than that. I don't know. Oh, really hitting me today. 
What's going on? You got a mail. Can I trust you? How can I believe what you're saying? I hate to say that, but you were weird at lunch. Sorry I'm not so gullible that I just believe whatever comes out of your mouth. I need to hear the truth from you. We're gonna be sharing our lives together. Yes, sadly we are. It's really settled now, trust me. I'm not going to cause you any trouble. You're the most important thing to me. Thanks for messaging me. I feel like I'm lying now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Erica, she's an angel. More like a demon. Let's hope she's that too. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you later. Time to talk to the old ladies. Would you Would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? I hate politics or I hate economics. I hate both. But I'll say I hate politics more. This Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. What? Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? What? It's two days until the time of free- What did I do wrong? How come so many know. people are dying? I've talked to them all. <laughs> I hope you're working hard. Oh, it's our first real date tomorrow. I'm so excited that I made us cupcakes. Oh, you put, took a picture of yourself in your bunny outfit. Good. I'm not even responding to your dumb text message. Did I really do that bad? Two more people died? you want? Don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through dealing with pressures all this time. He's truly a pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. <sighs> that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh... Cheer up. Ugh, don't patronize me. I I swear I talked to a dude in the dream and he said all he cared about was her. I don't know what happened. Ugh. Oh, what now? Catherine. Hello, Vincent. Catherine, what is it? I'm sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. Hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I know. Thank you. I I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. If something's happening, tell me. We're not strangers anymore. I'm carrying our child. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Then I forgive you. Seriously, I'm sorry. Good night. Oh, this episode has felt like garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when it's like I have tried my absolute hardest to go like towards a certain route, and also I have tried my absolute hardest to keep everyone alive, like it's like, oh, by the way, three NPCs died that you talk to every day, and it's just like, uh, what's even the point of doing all these dialogues anymore? I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant. But she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Is there a reason? Huh? 
She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Marriage is two people becoming one. It's the truth. He says it's the truth a lot. It's very difficult and very frightening. What now? Oh, it's her. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. Good. Goodbye. Oh, Anna's gone. So let's see, three people have died. I failed that man's relationship. And despite everything I told him and everything, it's, it's not happening. Hey, boss, what's Some up? Nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, why can't I remember them? Every night, women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the ponderings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. So I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. Still, Steve's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. I'm gonna head home. Excuse you got me. a mail. What is it now? I don't care about the Rapunzel puzzle. Leave me alone. Not even opening that. Change the music in here. <laughs> Alright, who haven't we talked to yet? There's like no one to talk to either. Like half the people are dead and gone and Rin's not here and there's just nothing to do here anymore. By the way, I called Rin. It seems the amnesia's gone. All those missing memories came flooding back when Rin left the apartment. I wonder how Rin's doing. Rin seemed okay on the phone, so cheer up, guy. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. Okay, so what this is basically telling me is that I'm gonna learn nothing about Rin and I'm gonna have to replay the game just to do- okay. Rin was pretty mysterious, huh? Acting all naive, but then busting out the most profound thing. It's like there was some unspoken potential that no one else had. I hope everything's okay back home, whatever that is. I'm sure it's fine. How else would Rin have turned out to be such a great person? It's a little lonely, but we'll meet again. And when that happens, I'll be there with a smile. Well, time to go home. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> you going? I just wanted to organize my thoughts and calm down. I'll follow up with Rin. You just make sure you settle this. Yeah, I will. All right, see you. to the cathedral starts here. Oh, I also just realized I haven't... I forgot Shane's difficulty back. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. Okay, well, I'm actually going to end today's episode here. Sorry if it sounded very negative towards the end, but, uh... 
I, I think one of the worst things I always hate in video games is feeling like I missed out on plot. Or especially like a character I was really interested in seeing because if I have to be entirely honest, like the whole Catherine with a K plot and the Catherine with a C plot is like... I don't really like either of them. So like continuing from the plot from here is really dejecting because I would have been okay if it was like, hey, you know, um, you got to see Rin more, but no, she's just, she's just gone now. She's just done. She may come back at the end, who knows, save me or whatever, and like, forgive it, but still. It's really dejecting. Also, just the amount of people that died, despite how much I felt like I talked to them, like, every single floor I went out of my way to make sure that all the dialogue was done. Every time I visited the bar, I made sure all the guests were talked to that I could, and it's just like... Everyone is dying everywhere, because I guess I just made the wrong choice on every turn. But anyways, I'll see you guys ne next episode, where hopefully I will be a bit more ready to take this on. Um, and we'll be getting near the end of the game. I think there's eight days total, I want to say. Like, we're probably going to have a day seven, and then a day eight, and then the game's going to be over. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. Right now.